My name is Gavin P for I'm the Acting Inspector for Tipton and Wensbury Sector, um, a borough of Sandwell within the West Midlands Police Force area. I think um, as a service, as a, as a police service, we're always looking to continue to develop our um, response towards hate crime and certainly this um, application is going to build on to the one area that, w that we are struggling with and that is to actually get um, victims of low level crime to tell us about these incidents. We are making waves towards the more serious incidents and, and, and people are reporting to us but it's the low level that people think is not important to us um, that we're actually trying to improve our service with. People don't often feel that the incident that they've either witnessed or they've been a part of requires police attendance. They feel that it's low level, um, the police don't necessarily need to know about it. Um, and as such, don't attend police stations, they don't actually make the call to tell us this incident has occurred. So one of the things that we're trying to do is, is, is to push that, that myth away, really, that obviously all hate crime is important to us. OK, the Shout Crime app. Will, will definitely help. I mean, um, it gives people that have been the victim um, of a hate incident or have witnessed a hate incident the ability to actually report there and then um, details of what's actually occurred. It saves people having to walk into a police station. It also prevents those that don't want to from actually speaking to a, a police officer in person. Obviously, one of the um, uh, recommendations from the McPherson report was greater sharing of information. Um, that's been uh, echoed in the recent tragedy of Fiona Pilkington and the recommendations that have come from there. Um, information sharing is the way forward for all agencies and, and certainly this type of application is only going to benefit that.